Thank you for purchasing the Ninebot by Segway Mini Pro, a revolutionary electric balancing vehicle featuring mobile device connectivity. Keep in mind that the Mini Pro is a recreational product, which is different from a motor vehicle that drives on the road. Riding is a unique experience, and you're sure to enjoy it. However, before you get started, it's important that you review this video, read the quick start guide in its entirety, and follow the new rider tutorial mentioned later in this video. They will demonstrate how to ride the product safely. The Mini Pro's unique self-balancing system makes it seem so easy to ride that you may not realize the serious potential risks. Just like driving a car, riding a bike, or even walking, there are potential hazards of slipping, tripping, or tipping over. Once you've opened the package, check its contents. You'll find a quick start guide and limited warranty card, a knee control or steering bar, the Mini Pro's mainframe. When lifting the mainframe, be careful to avoid pinching a finger. Under the mainframe, you'll find an accessories box, which includes a charger and a valve stem extension. Before riding, you should access and read the user manual and watch the safety video online at segway.com. Remember to store the box and packing material in the event that you need to ship your Mini Pro for service. Your Mini Pro assembles in several easy steps. Install the steering bar. Open the clamp release of the steering bar. Insert the steering bar into the mainframe steering socket. Close the clamp release to secure. Lift the guide bar to help steer the Mini Pro without a rider when powered on, but do not use it to lift or carry the Mini Pro. When not riding your Mini Pro, you may extend the guide bar to pull the Mini Pro with it powered on. However, do not push the Mini Pro with the guide bar as it will retract. Once assembly is complete, check the power on off status. Until activated, your Mini Pro maintains a very low riding speed and steering sensitivity and should not be ridden. To activate your Mini Pro, install the Ninebot by Segway app on your mobile device, which must be running at least Android 4.3 or iOS 5, and connect via Bluetooth 4.0 or above. Then read the quick start guide and follow the app's new rider tutorial before your first ride. Now that your Mini Pro has been activated, let's review the dashboard icons. Power button. Use it to power your Mini Pro on and off. The Mini Pro will automatically power off when idle for 10 minutes or when laid down horizontally for more than 30 seconds. Lock. This feature enables lock mode via the Ninebot by Segway app. The Mini Pro will vibrate, flash its lights, and sound an alarm if anyone moves it. The app will also alarm. Keep in mind the Mini Pro will not balance in lock mode. Bluetooth. When Bluetooth is enabled, but not connected to a smartphone, this icon will blink. When the Ninebot by Segway app is connected to the Mini Pro, the icon will glow steadily. Speed limit. This feature enables and adjusts speed limit mode via the Ninebot by Segway app. When the icon is illuminated, the Mini Pro is limited to approximately 4 miles per hour or 7 kilometers per hour, but it can be adjusted in the app. Power level indicates the remaining battery life. When the battery is nearly empty, this icon blinks, indicating that you need to charge your Mini Pro. When less than 30%, your Mini Pro will gradually reduce the max speed limit, and when less than 10%, your Mini Pro will be limited to approximately 4 miles per hour or 7 kilometers an hour. You may use the Ninebot by Segway app to read the remaining power and estimated remaining mileage. There are safety risks when learning to ride the Mini Pro. You must read the Mini Pro's quick start guide and follow the new rider tutorial in the app before your first ride. Scan the QR code in your quick start guide to access the Ninebot by Segway app. Once you've successfully installed the app, register and log in. You should then power on the Mini Pro by pressing the on-off button on the unit. The Bluetooth icon blinking indicates that the Mini Pro is waiting for a connection. Click the Search Device button to connect to your Mini Pro. The Mini Pro will beep when the connection is successful and the Bluetooth icon will stop blinking and remain illuminated. You must download the Ninebot by Segway app on your mobile device and complete the new rider tutorial. The tutorial details proper riding techniques so that you may learn how to ride safely. Do not connect the charger if the charge port or cable are wet. To charge your Mini Pro, follow these steps. 
Lift up the cover of the Mini Pro's charge port and open the rubber cap. Plug the charging cord into both the unit and any standard AC outlet. Approximately four hours are required to charge the Mini Pro from zero to 100%. Its charge may also be topped off at any time. Once charging is complete, unplug the charger from the unit. For your safety, always wear an approved helmet and other protective gear to minimize any possible injury. Select a helmet that fits properly with a chin strap in place. Approved bicycle or skateboard helmets that provide protection for the back of your head are good choices. Remember, riding a Mini Pro improperly can result in serious injury to yourself or others. For your safety, the Mini Pro will limit its max speed to approximately 4 miles per hour or 7 kilometers per hour until you complete the new rider tutorial. After completing the new rider tutorial, the max speed will be limited to approximately 6 miles per hour or 10 kilometers per hour during the first half mile or 1 kilometer, after which you will be allowed to disable the speed limit via the app and reach a max speed of approximately 11 miles per hour or 18 kilometers an hour. To get started, you will need to select an indoor or outdoor riding area that has a level, smooth surface with good traction. Do not attempt your first ride in any area where you might encounter children, pedestrians, pets, vehicles, bicycles, or other obstacles and potential hazards. Be alert. Scan both far ahead and in front of the Mini Pro. Your eyes are your best tool for safely avoiding obstacles and slippery surfaces that could result in loss of balance or traction and cause a fall. Before riding your Mini Pro for the first time, select a friend to assist you and be sure that you view the new rider tutorial on the app and read the quick start guide in its entirety. Like riding a bicycle, it takes a certain skill level to ride the Mini Pro. Learning to ride is a step-by-step -step process. You should begin by identifying an open area in which to ride and asking a friend to assist you with your first ride. While standing next to the Mini Pro, as opposed to on it, adjust the height of the steering bar by rotating the height setting knob counterclockwise. Then, lift the knee pads to your desired height and turn the adjustment knob clockwise to tighten. Be sure to always step on from the back of the Mini Pro. Otherwise, you risk falls and or collisions because the steering direction is reversed. Next, place one foot on the foot mat with your other foot still on the ground holding your weight. Take care not to press the steering bar with your leg. Slowly transfer your weight onto the Mini Pro and step on with your other foot. Stand with your weight evenly distributed on both feet and relax while looking straight ahead. Gently lean your body forward and backward to control your movement. To make a turn, gently lean your legs left or right against the steering bar. You must read and understand the warnings and safe riding instructions in the user manual and this video before attempting to ride the Mini Pro. When riding the Mini Pro, if the battery indicator is two bars or less, less than 40%, do not ride at a high rate of speed or accelerate, decelerate suddenly. Avoid contacting obstacles with the tire or wheel. Maintain a moderate speed of two to six miles per hour, three to 10 kilometers per hour, and keep your knees bent. When traversing small bumps or uneven terrain, do not go too slow or too fast. Otherwise, you may lose control and fall. Watch your head when passing through doorways. Avoid slopes steeper than approximately 15 degrees, or your Mini Pro may lose traction. Do not suddenly accelerate or decelerate. Not following these warnings could cause a loss of control and lead to a fall and the potential for serious injury. In addition, for your safety, inappropriate riding should be avoided. Therefore, do not accelerate when the Mini Pro tilts back or sounds an alarm. Do not attempt to override the speed limiter. Do not get the Mini Pro wet. Do not ride through puddles or other bodies of water. Do not ride double or carry any passengers. Do not carry a child. The Mini Pro is for one rider only. Do not ride over holes, curbs, steps, or other obstacles. Do not rock back and or shift your weight abruptly. Do not attempt stunts of any kind. Always keep both feet on the foot mats. Do not jump or attempt stunts. Maintain contact with the ground at all times. Do not ride on limited traction surfaces, including but not limited to wet ground, loose sand, loose gravel, and ice. Furthermore, we strongly recommend against riding when the ambient temperature is below 23 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 5 degrees Celsius because the low temperature will limit the maximum power or torque. 
Inappropriate riding or failure to follow these instructions could cause a loss of control leading to serious personal injury or property damage due to slips, collisions, and falls. You will need to become familiar with the Mini Pro before you attempt to ride outside of your controlled practice environment. The more you practice, the safer you will be when you move into new places. Ride in areas free of obstacles and distractions until you are comfortable on the Mini Pro, and always use caution when riding in new environments. Practice until you can step on, ride forward and backward, turn, stop, and step off with the same precision and confidence as you walk. Before every Mini Pro ride, Check for loose fasteners, damaged components, and low tire pressure. If the Mini Pro makes abnormal sounds or signals an alarm, immediately stop riding. You may also diagnose your Mini Pro via the 9Bot by Segway app, and then call your dealer or distributor for service. To view the user manual and safety video online, please visit www.segway.com. You may use the 9Bot by Segway app to drive your Mini Pro in remote control mode. To get started, follow these steps. Open the 9Bot by Segway app and connect to your Mini Pro. Click on the remote control icon. Drag the virtual joystick, the dot inside the circle, to drive your Mini Pro. Do not use remote control mode in crowded areas or where there is a potential risk of endangering people or property. In addition, always keep the unit in sight while in remote control mode. Do not stand on the Mini Pro when it is in remote control mode. Doing so risks serious personal injury or damage to the Mini Pro. It's important to note that in RC mode, the default maximum speed is 3 miles per hour or 5 kilometers an hour, but you may change the max speed in the 9Bot by Segway app. In addition, the Mini Pro's Bluetooth range is 30 to 50 feet or 10 to 15 meters. If your Android or iOS device goes outside the Bluetooth range, the Mini Pro will stop moving in remote control mode. However, use caution. If the Mini Pro is on any type of slope, it may continue to move or even lose control and cause serious personal injury or property damage. For your safety, motor power is cut off when the Mini Pro is lifted off the ground in balance mode. When the Mini Pro is put back down, it will begin balancing again. Pull up the guide bar to enter power assist mode. Your Mini Pro should be powered on with no rider. You may now guide the Mini Pro across smooth surfaces. Do not guide your Mini Pro upstairs, across potholes, over large cracked and uneven surfaces, or over other obstacles. Instead, steer it around or carry it over obstacles. Do not lift the Mini Pro by the fender or the mainframe. You risk pinching or injuring your fingers or hands. Instead, ensure that the knee control bar has been tightly secured and then lift via the bar as shown. We know your family and friends might want to try your Mini Pro. Please keep in mind that anyone under 16 years old should not ride. These are the things you need to remember before anyone new rides. Remain within an arm's length of the new rider. Via the app, adjust the speed limiter to approximately 4 miles per hour or 7 kilometers per hour. All riders should always wear helmets and other protective gear to minimize any possible injury. Remember to spot new riders until they are comfortable with the Mini Pro's basic operation. The safety of new riders is your responsibility. Do not allow anyone to ride for the first time unless you are there to assist them. Do not let new riders operate the Mini Pro outside of your direct supervision unless they have completed the app's new rider tutorial and read the quick start guide. Be sure to ride your Mini Pro carefully and safely. Always wear an approved helmet and other protective gear and ride under control at a speed that is safe for you and those around you. Always be prepared to stop. Respect pedestrians by yielding the right of way and be careful and considerate of others. If you ride responsibly and follow the guidelines in the 9Bot by Segway app's new rider tutorial, user manual, and safety video, you'll have a safe and fun riding experience. Please read and follow the instructions in the user manual and watch the safety video online at www.segway.com.